Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to replace your batteries in your APC backup UPS system. And this particular system is an RS1500. And these instructions will actually go for several different models that are all in the same shape and the same design. Uh, so if you have one of those, these will be instructions for you. And by the way, I got my replacement batteries from ReplaceUPSBattery.com. I looked at lots of different sites and I found that they had the best deal on the market. So that's who I went with. So if you're looking for some batteries, check out ReplaceUPSBattery.com. Here we go. This is the system we've had for a while and it's been chirping at us because it needs a replacement battery and that gets really annoying. So that's what we're here to do today. So the first thing we did is we ordered some replacement batteries online and we have those here, but you'll see as we take them out, take the batteries out, um, there's a, a piece in here that is you can you can order it that way, but it's a lot more expensive. So we opted for choosing a little bit less price, and we're gonna just use these and use the existing part that we need in here. So the first thing you do is turn it on its side, and you're gonna pull this bottom part out. It just sort of slides out, and this is the uh, the piece here that that will disconnect. So we're gonna disconnect that um, from the from the wire here and this part stays in and this will actually help us sort of pull the battery part out all right so we have it out of the container here and I think part of the reason it was hard to get out is because it's begun to swell which is never a good thing um, so it's a good thing that we got it out of there when we did um, so as you can see these two batteries um, will kind of go like this and they have this little connector piece in between them. So I have taken this little sticker off, which we will reuse when we put the other two batteries. So I'm gonna lay that to the side. And as you can see, there's one part here that sort of flips over. And this is gonna be your, your positive, which is going to the yellow wire, and the negative, which is going to the, the black wire. So I'm just gonna undo those. And then we have another sticker on the side, which on the other side, which will be a little easier to, to peel off now that we have this uh, off of there. So there we go, there's the old battery, or at least one of them. I'm gonna set that over here, and we'll continue to peel this off on this side. And we'll lay that there. Now we have this one, which is a little easier to work with now. You can see that the, the wires are pretty close here so all we have to do is is undo that and on this side the yellow is going to the negative and the red is going to the positive and we'll lay that to the side as well so now our old batteries are out so all we have to do is install our new batteries so i'm just going to repeat this process kind of in reverse and i will put the red against the red sort of get that on there and then we'll use this one and we'll slide it on there as well. And then this will sit right down on here like this. And then this yellow one will come over here and be the engagement for this other side. So what I'm going to do is I'll take these off. Remember this time the yellow was the positive and the black was the negative. Make sure our cords are down here good. So this sits pretty well flat. And there you have it. So all we're going to do now is we're going to attach these um, stickers back on. You could probably use some packing tape or something like that. But I figure, hey, these are already here. They still have a lot of sticky on them. So this will kind of make sure everything stays together. So I've got that side on. And it still kind of looks like it did when it came out of the, the thing. So this one on here and 
there you have it. That's it. All we have to do is slide it back in. So we're going to do that now. Making sure that we have the... Hey, look how much easier that slides in now that it's not all bulked out. And then this will go back in together. We'll take this piece. We'll put it back on here. Slide it on. I may have to lift it up a little bit to get it on correctly. We'll just take it over the edge of the table. And then that slides in place. I have my little foot that I keep it on because I keep it stood up. And then the most important part is you're going to want to plug it into the wall before you turn it on. Sometimes it will cause a problem. And that's it. That was easy. And by doing that, that will save you a whole lot of money because you can buy them with the piece already on there and the connector and everything, but you don't really need to because you already have one in the old one. So it seems pretty easy. So good luck.